good morning students today we are going to discuss about one type of information system which is called the transaction processing system so basically our topic will only restrict to this one particular type of information system already we know there are four types of information systems number one is transaction processing system number two is decision support system number three is management information system and number four is executive support system or executive information system but today we are only going to discuss about one type of information system which is called transaction processing system in this particular video we are only going to focus on that one now let's look at this slide a transaction processing system is what a transaction processing system is nothing but a transaction processing system is a computerized system which records which records the daily routine transactions which are necessary to conduct business now look at this part only a transaction processing system is what it's a computerized information system what does it do it records and performs all that it records all the activities which are needed for doing day to day business for example if you are going to take about the student registration or student attendance system information system every day i take attendance so in order to take attendance i have to store the attendance of each class into the system so it records the daily routine what is a daily routine in a university a teacher takes attendance in the system the teacher actually makes uh, also the for example in this du during the registration time the students register into the course these are routine jobs which are done in the university but all these routine jobs which are done has to be recorded and stored in a system and that system is actually called a transaction processing system examples for such transactions are given over here sales order reservation payroll employee payroll employee record keeping all these things that means the activities which happens on a day to day basis on a routine basis in any organization is recorded and it is kept in a system it's stored in a system that's called a transaction but first of all let me explain to you what is the word transaction transaction is nothing but an activity that happens between the a system and the customer or the end user or the employee any entity it can be an employee it can be a user it can be a customer and the system that is recorded in a system and that is called a transaction processing systems now like for example operational managers need to keep track of elementary activities and transactions made in the organization such as sales like what are the sales made today receipts cash deposit payroll on these type of things are actually to be taken by the operational level managers the operational level people need to monitor these things so this is what is actually happening in the transaction processing system day to day activities are stored and you can actually retrieve the data to see how the activities happen on each day like what are the routine activities that happen in that one you can be able to track and monitor using the transaction processing system in the case of our university dusis is recording the student registration attendance mark and student evaluation like for example everything is done in the sis it's a information system but what is the, what is this it registers it the, when the student make a registration all the students who registered one student registered for four courses this transaction is stored in the system that's why this data is used by the sis to produce the class list you understand the data that is stored because of a transaction is retrieved to make the class list for the different for the different classes and similarly you can see that it is also helpful for attendance when the class is when the class list is ready the teacher takes attendance and automatically when the student is actually crossing a certain amount of absences it gives a warning message so this is what is the whole idea is about and the principal purpose of this system is to answer routine quest, routine questions like routine activities are monitored normal simple activities which does not require any decision making we are just checking that okay how many students entered we want to store the data so using this data we are actually storing the information which will be the data for the higher level of information systems like mis and dss look at this one now the student the teacher is actually entering the attendance here 
it is stored into the system so now whenever i want to check how many students are absent on a particular day i can get the information very easily from the system so this is actually an example of a transaction processing system i will now also talk to you another example about a payroll tps you can see this payroll tps in the payroll tps what do you see now you see a system which is called a payroll tps in the payroll tps you can see that the employee data is actually entered into the system in there is a file which is like a database in the database file you are going to store the information about em every employee is employee number is name is uh, pay rate gross pay tax all the information are stored into this system when any new employee joins his employee data will be stored into the database and it is in a employee database and it is going to be in a employee database file okay and now when i am going to actually store this information then the payroll system from the payroll system this data is stored inside and it can be retrieved at any point of time if i want to see any information about any employee the system will, can, should be able to give me the information when the system is able to get the information every month we have to make a payroll you know what is a payroll when the salary date comes we have to give them the pay so this system is actually a system which is responsible for making the pay for every month so the employee details are in the system so say for example on 22nd of every month the company wants to pay the employees the salary so the the payroll employee the clerk or the uh, officer in in charge of the payroll will try to execute will, will retrieve the data from the employee file and then he will be able to do what he will actually generate the payroll he will generate the payroll and then this will be seen as it will be seen it will be seen as a it will, it will be sent this data will also be shared in the general ledger the accounts department can share this will be sent to the accounts department because they can make the payment because they have to send the money to the bank so by they will actually it will be sent to the general ledger and also it will be sent to the government agencies because sometimes we are actually going to have taxes in some countries in oman you don't have taxes for salary but in some countries you have taxes for salary so the government agencies will give this will also be given this detail and the tax that has to be paid to them will be automatically sent to the government agencies and also the employee paychecks will be sent to the banks so that the money will be deposited in the bank so the process is to generate the payroll once the payroll is generated using this file because you have the information on the pay what is the tax what is the net pay everything is there in this one so automatically it will generate the payroll once the payroll what is the payroll list of employees what is the salary for them any deductions any extra thing that has to be paid what is the net pay that they will get it's like a complete report of the money that has to be spent on this particular month for paying the employees the salary so once the payroll is generated for the particular month it is sent to the general ledger because the accounts department should note the this in the accounts that this much salary is paid then it has to be sent to the government agencies in some countries there is a tax on salary so that this tax which has been deducted that money has to be sent to the government agencies along with the report and then the employees will this will also be made as employee checks and the money will be deposited in their account in addition to that the management for example any level of the management want to see what is the actual situation with the salary is the salary paid how many how much is the total extra money that we have paid so the management can actually get reports like this monthly report payroll monthly report pay, payroll yearly report payroll half yearly report like this in addition to that an employee can make an online query like for example he wants to check what's happening with this uh, like he can make a query what was my salary 2 3 months before what is the salary i got for the last 6 months so you can make online queries also so this is an example see you have to understand one thing about the transaction processing system or any system where you are actually making a process which is a routine process remember this one paying salary every month is a routine process it happens every month so this actually this is actually called a transaction that means uh, what is a transaction every employee gets a salary this is a transaction this transaction happens with the help of a information system generating the report so this has to be stored in the system and the reports are generated because this is a very routine thing 
there is no need for doing any manipulation or any decision making so this is an idea of transaction processing system i think with this we will conclude this lecture in the next lecture we will see about another information system thank you very much and see you then assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh